Hello guys, welcome back to another video. We are back working on the cheap BMW E93 series and I'm pretty confident that we should be getting the car finished today. Now we have a couple of jobs to get done, one of which we need to swap out the number plate. So we have a fresh set of pressed plates here. I think these are gonna look so much smarter. To be honest, it is a shame to get rid of the originals because I think they are quite literally the original BMW dealer plates, but the front one is cracked and they are looking a bit sorry for themselves. So a company called EG Plates has kindly sent these out to me. So guys, if you are in the market for a fresh set of press plates, there will be a link down in the description box below. So free, feel free to check them out. Now, along with a fresh set of number plates, we're also gonna be installing a fresh set of wiper blades as well. I like to go with Bosch when it comes to wiper blades. You really can't go wrong with them. Now, along with those two small jobs, I'm also gonna give the car a good thorough clean as well. Now, a company called Yum Cars has kindly sent me out a care package with some products to try. Now, I will get into depth with a few of those products and I'm not gonna lie, I, I have already given them a try and they are bloody amazing. Honestly, we'll get outside, let's get cracking and I'll show you a few of them in action. Okay, so here is how the car is currently looking. I have been driving it for the past couple of weeks since the most recent wash. But let me show you the number plates first and foremost. So as we can see, they are BMW dealer plates. Now I would go as far to say that these are more than likely the original, but yeah, as we can see, this is cracked and yeah, there's no getting around that really is that I think we should just go ahead and replace them. I'll show you the rear one as well. That is the rear one. I think it should look quite nice with some nice fresh press plates on here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is remove the plates first. And I think I'll give the car its good thorough clean and then we'll install the plates after just so that we have a good surface to uh, put the sticky pads onto. So yeah, let's go ahead and remove these screws. Yeah, it's literally just held in by two screws. Thought there might have been some sticky pads as well. Ah, oh, that's good. Usually we have about 300 holes behind here where someone has tried to install a plate in the past, but yeah, I would say that these are more than likely the original like I said there's not a bunch of holes there there's no sticky pads on here or anything so yeah I'd definitely say these are the original plates doesn't really matter if we damage these it's just a plastic cap just need to access the screw And again, that's good to see. We just have the original screw holes. Usually you see a bunch of different screws or sticky pads in here, but yeah, none of that. Okay, let me show you real quick then what is in the Yum Cars care package. I'll go ahead and open it up. Like I said, I have already used a lot of these products before already. So we have a few different uh, towels. This is the main drying towel, and this is fantastic, I must say. This is the wash pad. It's like a microfiber wash pad. Again, good stuff with that. This is their utility towel, which are used for the interior. Uh, this is a plush towel, I guess, for mainly buffing, but I haven't really done any polishing or anything like that yet. And this is inside of the bag itself. So we have, I'm just gonna go through these quickly. So Yum Wash, this is a shampoo. Uh, yum wax again haven't used that yet uh, yum citrus I'll be giving that a go uh, yum interior yum wheels I'm a big fan of this yum wheels it works great uh, yum deodorizer I have sprayed this in a couple of my cars and honestly it's it smells so good uh, yum detailer yet yeah, haven't used that yet uh, yum glass, I might get on to using that today. Uh, yum dress, haven't used that yet. Uh, yum undress, again, haven't used that yet. Uh, yum foam, honestly, this is the best snow foam that I've ever used. You will see it 
pretty soon anyway. Uh, and then Yum Ceramic, again, haven't got round to using that yet. But uh, yeah, I think we should go ahead and uh, start cleaning this car. So I have gave the car its first rinse just to get rid of the bulk of the dirt and now I'm going to attack it with this Yum Citrus which I guess is like a pre-wash bug and dirt remover. So I'm going to spray this around the lower sections of the car and we'll leave it to dwell and we'll also tackle the wheels at the same time as well. Now what I'm going to use then is this Yum and Dress. I haven't used this yet, it's supposed to be for tyres, I guess, for tyres and rubber. So I guess it's primarily a tyre cleaner. So yeah, we will give the tyres a good coating and then we'll move on to the wheel cleaner. I don't know what is in this stuff, but can you see all that dirt just running off already? And that's within a matter of seconds as well. Next up then we have the Yum wheels, which is of course their wheel cleaner. This stuff seems to work wonders. Now while I let the wheel cleaner, do its thing. I'm going to go around with the brush and agitate any of the dirt on the tyres. As you can see, I mean these tyres didn't even look dirty, but you can see just how much dirt is embedded into them. Like I said, I'm not sure what is in this undress, but it seems to do a good job in removing the dirt from the rubber. And now that the wheel cleaner has been given a chance to do its thing, as you can see, it's bleeding out nicely. So we'll get our wheel brushes and give this a good agitation. And this is coming off very nicely. Good thing about these wheels are they're so easy to clean because the spaces between the spokes are so wide and get a real good brush in there. So the wheels are pretty much done now. It's time to do the final stage of the pre-wash, which is a snow foam. Get ready for this. So after a good 10 minutes or so, it's time to rinse it all off. The next up then is the contact wash two bucket method of course and we're going to be using this Yum Wash this is their shampoo now it is I believe yeah pH neutral so it's safe on all paint work it doesn't add anything doesn't take anything away but I'm going to make sure I don't put too much of this stuff in now I just put the amount that I would usually put in with a regular shampoo but it turned out way way too foamy last time and uh, yeah you really don't need to use much of this stuff Uh, 
I would say that's more than enough. As you can see, just the tiniest amount in there and we'll see how foamy this stuff comes out. So yeah, you saw, just use the tiniest amount of the Yum Wash and look how foamy it is. You really don't need much at all. Now, I'm gonna try something that I haven't actually tried before. I have the Yum Wash, so the shampoo in the snow foam lance and I'm gonna give the car just a complete covering again with this stuff and I'm gonna see if it makes the contact clean any easier. I mean, the idea behind it is, you know, the more shampoo we have on the car, the slicker the wash pad is gonna move. But yeah, like I said, never tried this before, so we'll see how it goes. Now, of course, it's not a snow foam, so I'm not expecting it to stick around on the paint for too long, but if it makes the contact wash any easier, then it's, uh, it's worth it in my opinion. And I must say, this smells incredible. I can't work out what it is. It smells like, kind of smells like sweets, I wanna say. Can't. Is it love heart sweets? Oh no, I know what it is. It's, um, what are they? Palmer violets, that's what it is. I love them. That's really weird. I'd be interested to see if it's supposed to smell like that. No, I don't think it is, but yeah, smells good. <laughs> All right, let's get our wash pad and let's get cracking. Oh, that wall's warm. Oh, that's hot. Oh yeah, that just glides. Yeah, I think it was a good idea to give this a good coating. Ah, oh, it's glides so easy. Right, let me crack on with this contact wash and we'll rinse it all off and then I'll check in when I'm done. Okay, so the exterior is now nice and clean. Just went over with the drying towel as well. And while I leave the last few drops to drip, I'm gonna go over the interior with this Yum interior. Just gonna spray it liberally all over the interior and give it a good wipe with this utility towel. Does this smell? Oh yeah, it does, it's strong, that is. Almost smells minty. That's a, uh, I can't work out what it is. Almost smells minty, this does. It smells nice though. Yeah, just a quick spray and a wipe over. Pretty difficult to tell how well this stuff cleans because the interior really wasn't that filthy anyway, but it seems to bring up a nice shine on the plastics, which is good. And yeah, definitely does smell nice and fresh in here now. It also gave the front a clean with the Yum interior, also gave the entire car a clean with the Yum glass as well. I don't really know what to say about the Yum glass. It's glass cleaner, seems to do the job quite well, but nothing special. And the Yum deodorizer, this is what I am most looking forward to using because it smells so, so good. So I'm just gonna spray this in to the mats, the footwells, the headliner. Oh, it already smells so good, honestly. You know what, I'm even gonna spray it in the boot as well. And now to finish off, I'm just gonna dress the tires. So I have the Yum Cars Hex Grip tire dresser. 
Just going to put a bit of the yum dress on. It says to put four or five spots. That'll do. And I guess it's pretty self-explanatory. Just rub it into the tyre. I'm not going to lie. I don't very often dress my tyres. I'm, I don't really go that far on a regular wash, but you know, if this stuff does last and it, you know, keeps the tires looking fresh for a while, then I will use this stuff going forward. But if it's just going to be a case of it, you know, just wears off after a couple of days, then it's pretty pointless. But we'll uh, we'll give it a go. So then with the car now looking nice and clean inside and out, I think it's time to get the new number plates installed so you can see what they look like. So then these plates come with five sticky pads for each plate which is nice. So yeah, I guess there's really not a whole lot to it. Just peel them off and stick it in place. So it shouldn't be too difficult to centre this because we have this bracket but I do want to make sure it is in the centre as possible oh, I really hate doing things like this yeah that's dead centre right, stick it down Be interesting to see if this holds actually because obviously the plate has got to bend with the bumper but there is five sticky pads on sure so it should be strong enough yeah that seems to hold quite nicely actually let's give it a good firm push what do we think old or new old new i think these new plates Look very fresh. And the same with the rear, old, new, old, new. Okay, so we was going to be replacing the wiper blades, but turns out I ordered the wrong kind. They have a different style fitting on there, so we'll have to do that at a later date. But for now, that is the BMW E93 series complete. Okay then guys, so the cheap BMW E93 series project is pretty much complete now. I've, I've done everything pretty much that I want to do to it. Of course, we still have a set of wiper blades to install, not a biggie. Um, we'll just do that at a later date. Um, but yeah, like interior and exterior and mechanically, it's pretty much there now. And, um, you know, I've kind of done a bit more than I first anticipated I would but you know whatever we decide to do with the car if we want to sell it on somebody's somebody is definitely going to have a well sorted and looked after car that really will only require basic maintenance going forward um, I think more than likely I'll drive it for a month or two then put a good 12 months MOT on it hopefully with no advisories and then I'll put it up for sale. But yeah, no plans to do that as of yet. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. I wanna say a big thanks to Yum Cars for supplying that care package. Also guys, if you do want to purchase yourself a set of press plates, there will be a link down in the description box below. But I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you have not already done so, and I will see you all in that next one. Peace.